to corrupt you tonight. I seduce you with my form, with my creativity, with music in the background. You know, in an outfit to match. You got it once. You don't rehearse that. It's our mini Hollywood. It's a place to win a coin, it's a place to win a trophy, and it's a place to also discover yourself, discover who you are. This is such an underground scene that is so powerful because it's like people that have been oppressed. You're making it into like, we're not oppressed, we are fabulous. New York City is the birthplace of the voguing world and of the ballroom scene, so it just keeps evolving and evolving all the time. New York City has a, a very raw sense to it because people are just like themselves, you know? There's so much originality. It's like this birth of fashion and birth of new dance. This is not only a dance, this is a lifestyle. You know, that's why it's so empowering to so many artists. It's about transsexuality, it's about gay men, it's about uh, trans men, it's about lesbians. How many years now yeah. we're celebrating? We're gonna have a ball, what? A thousand years no, before like the 30. dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that would be good. It's yeah. gonna be 30 it's years. Wow. wow. It's a long time. time. So, so she birthed you. Even before I tapped into it, it was a movement that was around way back. It was more for the drag queens and the transsexuals. And as they, that was back in like the mid 60s. I mean, they were against the law. So they would take place in Harlem at like three, four in the morning when no one was out. And you would see these colorful folks come in and compete for these prizes. Because you came from as a baby. It feels like yesterday. Vogue Nights started about five years ago. It was an opportunity to give all of our ballroom patrons and people who are taking classes and learning how to Vogue a place to actually go and exercise it. If you want to Vogue, this is a place you can come and Vogue and no judgment. I like to give you a narrative. I like you to become somebody when you're voguing. You're not thinking about what's your next move, but you're actually just, you left the building. You're out of your mind and your body's just naturally responding to the lyrics and to the beat. The music that we play here at Vogue Nights is a mixture of Vogue beats, house beats, and uh, some classic music as well, just to give everybody, because there are different categories. So you have the Voguers, the runway people, you have people who do old way, and there's music for just about each category. We like to say if you're a Voguer, if you're a performer, you can Vogue for anything, as long as you can catch the eight counts, catch the rhythm, catch the beat. A lot of the individuals that are pioneers, they weren't allowed to just be gay and be okay with it. You know, they had to either choose this way or that way, and they choose their way. And that's how the houses came, where there would be a mother and a father to help and take in all the children whose natural mothers and fathers didn't want them. And it was now the job of that mother and that father to instill confidence and to, to still make these individuals push and feel that they are part of something bigger than what they would have ever been as part of their natural family. That's why anytime you see somebody in a ballroom scene walk something, show out on the floor and become somebody, Vogue, walk runway, sell face, they want to be heard and they're telling you their story. We call our outfits for balls effects. You make your effect. You don't go to the store and buy it. Part of the pageantry and everything from ballroom is literally creating your look.
Like this right here, I would definitely get, which I am going to get. For this fall, my imagination to prepare for this fall is me just being on a bed of red roses and just, oh, you want it? You know, that's this is my mindset. Hmm, this might work too. This is what makes ballroom fun. If you're not doing this side of it, it's like, you know, you're, it's like you're cheating yourself. You should be able to experience what it's like to buy fabric and, you know, debate on what you're going to do with the fabric, if anything. Hi, Bo. Ball. The best way I can explain a ball is kind of like NFL. The reason why I related so much to football is one, the competition, how aggressive they can be. If you're not bringing the category in the way that the judge is asking for, you're going to get shot, i.e. meaning you're disqualified. You can no longer compete. Thank you for coming. Good day. So you have six elements. You have the hands, you have spinning, you have the dips, you have floor performance, duck walk, and then you have the catwalk. Though it's competition, you have to still be able to bring your self into the scene. You have to have the confidence that I'm entertaining you, this is what I own, and this is me. And I'm going to compete but I'm not going to compete in the sense of I have the expectation to win. I'm going to compete with I have the expectation to have fun. It's hard to imagine ballroom without the LGBT community. It's our celebration of femininity. It builds our character. It's our way to express ourselves with competing without feeling judged for who we are. It's our own personal haven.